hi guys welcome back to my channel how you doing hope you're fine hope you're well hope you're great so if you're still on your screen for the first time my name is choma sylvia and yes i'm the owner of this beautiful channel thank you for joining in and to my returning subscribers you guys thank you for sticking around all the love to you how you see my bonnet <laughs> i know yes it's it's fine i got it in lagos island market so guys, we are going to be talking about skincare. I actually just started this skincare journey, buying products to use on my skin. So I thought, why not share it with you guys so that at least I'll be able to hold myself accountable while I'm on this journey. Let me not just buy products and stock them up in the house and probably not use it. So by then I remember that, okay, I already mentioned in my channel that I'm using some products and eventually I'm going to give an update why not take it here? Why not make a video about it? So this year, I decided to give it another try. I decided to like get the actual products, the ones that are termed dermatologically certified, the ones that everyone has talked about here and they reviewed and said it works. So I deal with hormonal acne and over time, I've always felt it's something that I'll use organic products to take care of. For those who know me, for family, in fact, some at a point they, are they got tired of me because I'm always buying products. I was always telling them, ah, this organic product is it. Everyone has been testifying. I'm going to get it. And then I'll go and get it. I'll try it out one month, whatever. Nothing is working. Nothing is changing. My skin is still as bad as it is. So at a point, I just stopped. Sometime last year, I just, I come on my hand from anything organic product. I just said, man, babe. Let me just relax. Let me just breathe, eat, and and just live life and just survive. Live skincare for and organic products for a minute. And so that was how I just thought. All the plenty containers of this, that, mix this, me, don't mix that. Trust me, I've tried everything. Mix turmeric honey, do scrub, natural scrub, mix this, um, buy black soap, original black soap, mix it myself. I'll buy the ones that I've already mixed, like my face and my skin don't sit since, my face especially. I don't really have much issues with my skin, the rest of my body, because it's fine, basically. But my face is always, you know, the face is always what everyone sees and everyone has an opinion about it. Like, ah, what's wrong with you? Why is your face like this? Ah, what happened? And they'll start suggesting one this or that. So this year, I decided to give it another try and I want to see how my body is going to respond to that from now on so I've been on some of these products for a few weeks so I just want to see how it goes from here but I decided to make this video to record my journey in the skincare world you guys you know how big a deal skincare is especially for ladies hmm. I didn't realize how much of a big deal it is till i start asking around till i start investigating and researching ask a couple of friends who are who take the skincare thing very seriously and i got some recommendations as well so some of the things i bought they're actually from recommendations from what one or two people i know have used and then the reviews i've read online as well so before i go into the products before i start showing you what and what i use and then talking about the routine as well can you look at my skin? I just want you to look at it and rate it. Like, just rate my skin. How do you think it is now? Then we'll now compare by the time we are done. So personally, looking at my own skin, I'll judge myself before you judge me. I'll tell you as you did. Before you tell me, as you see him. <laughs> so generally, I don't have a terrible skin. My skin is very fine. I use basically anything um, on my body and I don't easily react to it. Though sometimes I might say I don't, I, I was never paying attention before now. But what I know is my skin is very, very fine. But the concern is with my face. Like I said earlier, I deal with hormonal acne, so it's not like it everly goes away. You keep trying and trying, and then looking for product that match your skin, and then I have to stick with it. So this is my face. Is 
my face on a very good day trust me it used to be worse than this but now it's a lot better and i'm grateful but i need it to be at par with how it should be you know <laughs> so something else I, I would like to mention as at last year i was working in construction fully and um, i was on site almost every other day so i was exposed to the sun a lot of times so that contributed to a lot of things i was dealing with my skin that last year plus the stress and the breakout was always very very terrible but since the beginning of this year i actually work from home more often than before so somehow i think it has contributed to helping my skin be better feel better so it's now on me to do better for my skin since at least i have the leisure of working from home for a couple of days so it's easier to manage and it's easier to avoid the sun as much as i was exposed to it initially so now talking about the skincare routine and how it goes so most of the products i'm going to be talking about i'm going to be sharing with you they are from friends recommendations and from reviews i read and some i watched videos online so it's not like as if it was re recommended to me by a, a dermatologist no i've not gone to the hospital to see a proper dermatologist to recommend something for me this is on me and i'm willing to try out some of these products because i think i want to do it and i believe that it's not going to be very terrible on my skin worst was if they don't work i'll discard them the only thing that is paining me right now with this skincare thing is how much it costs if you think you want to get into this skincare thing and take your skin as serious as they say you are supposed to take it please just know that it's expensive <laughs> that's the honest truth i'm just starting out yes but i don't know somehow i i just decided to go all in yes everyone was like just buy a bit here and there but i was like let me just get as much as i can at once and be sure that okay i started this and i started it fully and then see how it goes so if something eventually doesn't work i'll probably just discard it or look for someone else that it will match their body skin and give it to them but I spent money that's all i'm going to say <laughs> but it's okay for you to start small it's okay for you to change your routine one product after the other till you can afford it there's no rush the general process everyone advises is you cleanse your face first you tone you hydrate then you moisturize so generally this is how it goes but then depending on whatever it is you're dealing with as a person because people's um, skincare problems are different some people they just want a fine toned skin some others they are dealing with acne some other persons maybe hyperpigmentation here is fair here is dark or discoloration here and there or they are trying to trim sunburn so depending on what it is you're dealing with then you add up other products in between so generally you cleanse your skin you tone you hydrate you moisturize and then you protect so for my own routine and what i use for cleansing i use the CeraVe foaming cleanser i don't know if you can see it i just put a bit of it in my palm and i apply For a few minutes then go about do one or two things brush prepare be sure that i've said everything before i go and have my bath so that way at least it will sit into my skin before i have to wash it off and then i go into the bathroom and i wash off <laughs> so you guys after washing off the cleanser i use um, this paper towel to dab my face i don't use my body towel on my face i just use this paper I have this pack of paper towel. I use it, I dab my face. Yep. So I'm sure <laughs> if you guys notice, this is 
the paper towel in your home yes i know normally usually you know it's this length yeah there about you know how a typical paper towel the length is but i'm an economist so i was trying to be economical so i cut it into two so that's why this is short if you can see the end i cut it i cut it so that yeah it will not finish fast fast <laughs> so i just dab my face all through leave a bit of water let's just be damp a bit. so immediately i finish dabbing my face from excess water i use this face toner this is from Ghania skincare yes as you can see i've used it a bit i've been using it for a couple of days every day so it has gone down so this is made with aloe vera aloe vera they say is good for the body as well and if you notice it's also normal to combination skin so i feel it's safe for me and that's why i got it so this process is for toning this helps to remove excess any other extra excess dirt that um the cleanser was not able to remove and i keep asking myself how come you see something anytime i use this there's always some dirt on my skin and i keep asking myself how come there's always extra dirt why why how how is it possible so you just use this dab a bit of it on the cutting pad and then you clean you guys they say dab but i always find it very hard to just be dabbing like this so i ensure that i clean like clean my skin because man it's not everybody that will tell you what goes on behind closed doors some people they dab on tv and probably in their homes they ensure that they clean their skin properly very well so that's what i do i clean i know they dab but please dab so that you don't scratch your skin especially for those that have sensitive skins dab it gently till you're sure you've covered all areas I don't know why this thing always gets dirty again why bitted now you know i keep asking myself i just had my bath i use cleanser why is there still dirt but now you see the advantage of the extra cleansing with the toner at least it helps to remove any extra dirt that is remaining and it's gentle on the skin it doesn't strip your body of its own nutrients so that way it's still okay to cleanse so after toning sometimes i allow my skin a few seconds to dry before i use the next product so generally for myself because um apart from the acne i am i don't have much right now that i'm dealing with on my skin except i just want it to tone in completely with the rest of my body so i don't do so much on my skin yet. so immediately after using the toner i use the vitamin c serum so guys this product came in highly recommended and also very expensive highly expensive so it's timeless skincare this is their 20 percent vitamin c plus ferulic acid plus vitamin e so the serum it helps to even out the skin and it's vitamin c so you know vitamin c is always good for the body so the idea is to help you even out the skin and helps to build the lost collagen or whatever else so i just apply a bit a bit of it on my palm as well and then i dab i dab all over so this vitamin c i use it in the mornings and then another thing i learned is that it kind of exposes your body to sun sensitivity which is why it also it's always advisable to use protection at the end and the good thing about this particular product is it dries up almost immediately like immediately you're going around your face it's drying into your skin so it doesn't kind of delay you with this whole skincare process because one of the reasons why i was never a fan of skincare is i always felt it's going to take me a whole lot of time early in the morning to dress up prepare do this and that on my face before i'll have to prepare and leave for work so it was always tiresome thinking about it i'm not even doing it yet for a product like this that absorbs into your skin almost immediately i love it i appreciate 
that fat so guys after the serum the next thing i apply on my skin is the moisturizer so i've done cleansing i've done the toning with the toner then the hydrating with the serum and then the moisturizing so some people always advise to use a light moisturizer on your face on the recommendation of a friend i got this simple product hydrating light moisturizer so this is like my face lotion this is like my face moisturizer this is what i apply on my face and it's quite light very very light to for use so i just apply a bit of that on my face it's very light see guys pardon my roughness i'm not yet an expert on this skincare thing you know when you watch videos everyone is like um yeah so um but for this baby girl eh i'm still rugged in it <laughs> so please just ensure that everything gets around your face is that what the end result that's what we want all the same We'll get to that some other time, but right now I just want it to absorb into my skin. That's all. So I've applied the lotion all over my skin and my neck. Yeah, I kind of actually like this simple hydrating light moisturizer. It's very, very light. Immediately you apply it, it absorbs directly into your skin. And but my worries, I keep asking myself, does it actually last on my skin? because it feels very very light i don't know if maybe anyone has used it they can answer in the in the comment section does it actually last on the skin or do i have to like apply it and reapply maybe one or two other times before the day ends because i feel it's very light and it just absorbs like that into the skin and disappears i don't know if anyone uses this please leave a response in the comment section let me know if i'm just being paranoid and then finally you protect for protecting the skin that's when everyone talks about sunscreen you know how all of us initially we thought for black girls melanin don't crack there's no need for sunscreen what is sunscreen sunscreen is not for black girls but well now we are on learning and learning something that the skin actually cracks the skin damages when you're not protecting it from the sun or should they say excess sun so i had to get a sunscreen so everyone kept talking about this altruist and how it's dermatologically recommended you know how those conversations come along so i had to get it and try it but then there's another product that i kept seeing online and i felt it's a good one as well i got it but i've not used it you guys when i told you my money finished on skincare this is it so i got this black girl sunscreen like it had a lot of good reviews it had a lot of great reviews so they were made by um some black girls in and it's supposed to be very good on black skins so that's why i got it but i've not yet opened it still very much the way it was packaged when they sent it to me from the store where i got it it's spf 30 same as this so currently this is what i'm using i just want to go one at a time currently this is what i'm using and both of them from reviews they don't leave the whole white cast on your face like so many other sunscreens do on black girls so i apply this on my face in the morning before stepping out and even on days so guys even on days when i'm not going to work i still apply sunscreen because man the damage that has happened before years before now we're just trying to repair them so there's no harm in applying it when you are indoors it's kind of white ish when applied but it dries up almost immediately it evens into the skin so i always ensure that i apply it at least a while before i have to go anywhere so that i don't start looking like ojuju kalaba mm. tada this is my regular everyday morning routine for this skincare journey we are embarking on so this is what i apply every morning before going but then there are still some other products that's just for the morning 
Okay, so for the rest of my body, I have I use the Aveeno Daily Moisturizer. I know so many people know this product. Um, it's very good. I use it for the rest of my body, and sometimes even I use it on my face. Some days when I feel this particular one is very light, I don't know. I always go for this. I just add it so that I'll feel like yes, I've applied lotion on my face. So this I use for the rest of my body and it's very good. It's a very good moisturizer. There's no two ways about it. There's never been any bad review about Avino's daily moisturizer. So get it. So apart from that, I also still have my supplements that I take every day. So this is the regular vitamin C. I know every other person take this because it was quite popular during the... And then I have this evening prime rose from Emzo. It's a Nigerian brand. Emzo is a Nigerian brand. Where is it? Okay, they are like the marketers of the product. It was made in India, but Emzo is like the popular Nigerian pharmaceutical company. So this is um, evening prime rose. I take it once to... One, two, every day and i have a couple of other supplements i take depending on one or two things so we, you know but all the same all of this is just an effort to ensure that this body is glowing so guys that's that about the product that's my routine so far i'm not going to lie since i started this journey i've skipped some days especially in the night i just like maybe come back just bathe and I just end up applying only moisturizer and I go to bed. But I'm making this video so I'm going to be more consistent and hold myself accountable. Because now I know that my viewers are watching and they want to know the updates maybe in a month or two months time. And probably by then I'll know how far I've gone with all of the products. So really I would like to know which, which of the products are you using, which one is working for you, which one didn't work for you. And um, is there any other thing you feel I should try or I should add up to my routine to make it feel better? So far, it's a necessity. For now, I don't want just for whatever purpose. So far, it's a necessity and you feel I need it for my skin. Please leave your comments in the comment section so that I can see it and then we'll share ideas. Because this skincare thing, I'm going in with it fully. So let's see how it goes. You can share the video with your friends. They are trying to start out their skincare journey as well. Because I believe these products are fair. They are not so much... Yes, I have said it that they are expensive, but they are not so much on the high price. They are easily affordable and easily available, which is one thing I'm grateful for. I went for the product that I can easily find around and not have to wait till whenever before I can get them. Thank you so much for watching. If you're seeing me on your screen for the first time, please don't forget to hit the subscribe button below to follow me on this journey. If you're a returning subscriber, thank you so much for the love. I can't stop saying thank you enough. You guys are the reason why we are here. You guys are the reason why we are doing this. I'm looking forward to growing this channel with you guys. Thank you so much. Do have a great day. Bye. 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 Bye.